you know, we partnered with Google, for example. If you Google climate change, you will, at the top of your search, you will get all kinds of UN resources. We started this partnership when we were shocked to see that when we Googled climate change, we were getting incredibly distorted uh, information right at the top. So we, we're becoming much more proactive. Um, you know, we own the science and we think that the world you know, should know it, and, and the platforms themselves also do. Um, but again, it's it's it is um, it's it's a huge, huge challenge that I think all sectors of society need to be very active in. We just surveyed our peacekeeping our peacekeepers. And 44% said that misinformation, disinformation, and hate speech on social media is impacting their ability to carry out their job. Their job is to keep the peace. Um, we're seeing things circulating that um, rile up the public attacks on peacekeepers. And it's not only peacekeepers. It's our country offices around the world who are working you know, to implement the Sustainable Development Goals, which is, you know, the promoting equality, uh, education, health care, um, climate action. In all of these areas, the, the facts are being undermined and public trust is, is no longer really there. Maria calls. I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahawah, Barakatha Yaharashai, Barakatha Yahawah, Barakatha Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawah by Hashem Yaharashai, Kohala Yahawah by Hashem Yaharashai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, that great milestone, that told me his doctrine and truth and sincerity. Shalom unto the elect. The heavenly father's name is Yahweh, which means he is or he exists. By Hashem, in the name of his only begotten son, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, we know his name to be Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer. He is the savior for the Hebrew Israelites from the pedigree of your father. By Hashem, in the name of the Roka Kodash, which means the Holy Spirit that's able to give us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of who we are, which are the true Hebrew Israelites. Your so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native American, or of the speckled burn, looking like the other nations, and your spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Shem Shai. You could be one of the elect. Shalom. We've been discontinued from our heritage because we went off falling after false gods and false idols, not following the law, statute, commandments that was given to us by our forefathers. And because of these offenses, we were sent into captivity. But through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, being that perfect sacrifice in the flesh to the Heavenly Father, He's been given all power to be able to sit on the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to be able to open the seals of this book, to be able to give the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding to the disciples, the prophets, and the men on down, to be able to wake up the tabernacle of David before the said destruction. And with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, we're able to know who our oppressor is, which is Esau, Edom. Esau means wasted away he is, and they are the biblical Edomites that it speaks about in the scriptures, which is the so-called white men of today, okay, which is known as the wicked, and they would have the fatness of the earth, the monetary system to be able to deceive the nations by pushing forth their enchantments, pushing forth um, perdition, pushing forth uh, uh, wickedness, and they would roll with the great sword. And with that great sword, there's many different teeth. You have their military uh, force where they're able to... Um, you know, press on people if they don't comply with their mandates. And you have where they're able to push forth their enchantments through their television. Okay. And in this time, they're trying to bring in their Novos Ordo Sequoium, their new world order, which is on the back of your dollar bill. Okay. To bring in a one world government, a one world military, a one world religion. And that one world religion is you having that karagma, that C hip embedded inside of your hand or your forehead so they can be able to control. Um, through a central banking digital currency, you're buying and selling, okay? And it will be governed by a blockchain, which is uh, e starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, the DuPonts, the Warburgs, the Schiffs, and these other heathen nations that have consulted together to hide thy hidden ones, which are you Hebrew Israelites, okay? By embedding that uh, device inside of you, you will own nothing and be happy. But the Lord is... Um, you know, has 7,000, um, you know, men and, and the great multitude of believers that are going to not bow down to the image of Baal. They're not going to take that device and the Lord is going to have that covering, that refuge and that shelter. But they have to go through that straight gate. And we're praying that we're of that number, which that straight is a position of difficulty. OK, and what you're seeing is, a, um, you know, these elites, they know that they have but a short time. So through their technology, through their science, they're trying to come out 
with uh, solutions to try to combat this truth because they still want the internet up because the internet is able to fool a lot of people, is, a lot, is, is able to put a lot of traps and snares for people. But those that Yahweh Shem is suffering with, they're getting the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and they're waking up. Okay, and also, and that goes to, um, you know, the head apostles at Great Millstone and the men on down <clears throat> that, that follow the sound doctrine, that follow the land wherever he goes. Okay, and, but on the, um, you know, the left-hand side, you have two-thirds of our people that are not going to be able to get it. Okay, they're going to get uh, caught up in the traps and snares. They're not getting those living waters that Yahweh Shema Shai is, is um, you know, spreading forth around the four corners of the earth through the, through the unicorn. Okay. But, um, you know, we're just praying that we're of that number. So this lesson is going to be centered around, you know, what that lady was speaking about. The lady, um, Melissa Fleming, which she's part of um, UNESCO, which is part of the UN. Okay. And they are, um, you know, they control the algorithms as far as with Google. Um, when you type in something, if you're trying to find a certain video, um, they can be able to shadow ban it. Um, also, they ha they're part of, you know, the information warriors, you know, um, you know, at three in the morning, you know, telling you that your video is not, um, you know, able to 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 stay on the platform because of so-called misinformation or disinformation when it's actually the truth. OK, and they're being exposed and all they can do is try to, you know, use their certain devices or technology to try to uh, slander thy brother. OK, but it's not going to work because the Lord has, um, you know, wickedness has been fulfilled and we're at the last point of, of their wickedness. You know, the last point is them trying to implement that CHIP uh, worldwide and trying to mandate it. And that will be the hour of temptation where the Lord's going to intervene for his elect. And we're praying we're of that number. And right now we're in the season of Esau Edom being revealed, being exposed. He's hurt. Um, you know, he's beaten down. He's bloody. He's wounded. And uh, so, you know, we got to keep going. OK, till, till our Lord Yahweh Shai does the final touches. Right. So this is Luke 8 and 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, okay, revealed, open, okay, Yahweh Shema Shai has given us the eyes out to be able to see who our enemy is and what he would actually be doing in this time. He would be pushing forth uh, man on man, woman on woman, transformer. He would be pushing forth bestiality, uh, pedestry. He would be pushing forth the sea hit, okay, which the infrastructure is here, okay. He would be anti, he would be um you know, anti-righteousness, he would be the shaitan, okay, Satan, which you go into the word Satan, it goes to adverse to righteousness, okay, he would be on the left-hand side pushing forth wickedness, okay, and he's, um, you know, obedient to what the spiritual demon of Satan on the left-hand side, okay, the so-called white man in the, in the flesh, okay, and, you know, the spiritual demon of Satan is under Yahabba Shem Shai. okay, he's on the left-hand side, he's executing the judgment on those that Yahweh Shema Shai doesn't want because the good and the evil um, are both obedient to Yahweh Shema Shai to bring forth prophecy, okay, to bring in righteousness, right? It says Luke 8 and 17, for nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, revealed, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. So before in these different meetings, these COP27 meetings, these uh, Davos meetings, these uh, Bilderberg meetings, these Bohemian Grove meetings, Okay, these United Nations General Assembly meetings uh, were in secret. Okay, but now through, you know, knowledge being increased, we're able to, you know, get this, uh, you know, get this information and be able to cipher it through the scriptures. Okay, and that's Yahweh Hashem uh giving us comfort in this time. Okay, Luke 8 and 17 in the NLT, it says, For all that is secret will eventually be brought into the open, and everything that is concealed will be brought to the light. Okay, and made known to all. So the whole world is seeing this. You have people that um, that are on a low level and they see that there's a problem, you know, especially those people in Ohio, uh, East Palestine, Ohio. They're, they're seeing um, the, the things that Esau Eden would do, the so-called white man, OK, that he will wage war on his own people and he will um, destroy his own land. OK, he would defile his own land. OK, going into he is the wicked. He is that vessel that's fitted for wrath and destruction. Okay, and he's being revealed, he's being made bare, Jeremiah 49 and 10. Okay, he can't hide his uh, wickedness and his carnality anymore. Okay, because that's all through this word being around the four corners of the earth, exposing him, starting with the, again, the head apostles at Great Millstone and men on down that follow that sound doctrine. 
Isaiah 29 and 15. Woe, which means destruction unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord Yahweh, and their works are in dark, and they say, Who will see at this, and who knoweth this? Yet yeah, the servants of Yahweh Shemashai are able to see you, because Yahweh Shemashai has given us the blueprint, um, the understanding of the secrets and the mysteries of what you'll be doing in the last days. Deuteronomy 29 and 29, the secret things belong unto the Lord, but those things which are revealed belong unto us and to the children forever that we may do all the words of the law. So we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability and we're not supposed to stand up uh, for wickedness and we're not supposed to what be quiet. Okay, we're supposed to um, uh, warn our people. Okay, whether they will hear or they forbear. Warning goes into teach, teach our people, um, you know, what is actually going on and that's through the scriptures, not of our own belly, not of our own lust. And through this word, Esau Edom's being found a, a liar, okay? Starting at their, their summit, starting at their government, okay? Because the United Nations, and I'm going to show you the article, what would actually, you know, spark this lesson, okay? Um, you know, what they're, what they're doing, okay? It says, Deuteronomy 33 and 29, Happy, O thou, o Israel, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by Yahweh, and the shield of thy help, who is thy sword of excellency. Yeah, because this word is like a two-edged sword. Okay, Hebrews 4 and 12, cutting asunder, whether you stand for righteousness or you stand for wickedness, okay? And righteousness is, is going to prevail, um, you know, the gates of hell will not prevail, okay? Righteousness wins in this story, okay? And that sword is wounding thy adversaries, which is the scriptures, Second uh, Maccabees uh, 15 and 15, take thy holy sword, okay, which which will be able to wound thy adversaries, and it's wounding them, Um the words that we speak it's hewning them it's cutting them down okay also uh wisdom of solomon 12 and 9 with one rough one rough word and that word is yahweh shai yahweh shai is able to um you know the word is the decree is the bar that is sent out for the servants of yahweh shaman shai to send out the commandments okay the commandment far as to to repent and be converted before the said destruction let's start from the top Happy, O thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people, say by Yahweh, thy shield of thy help, who is thy sword of excellency, and thy enemy shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places, okay? So in these uh, certain meetings, okay, these United Nations General Assembly meetings, the UNESCO meetings, okay, they're, um, we're being talked about as far as the servants of Yahweh Shema are being talked about how they can be able to stop this information from going out, okay, because it is a dreadful sound in their ear. Joe, and that's why they want to be able to put that C hip inside of you, um, going into you will own nothing and be happy because part of that 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 C hip that that M O to the B is um, them controlling what you say through a, a, a credit score, you know, a social credit score. If you say something good about the president, okay, it goes up. If you if you're if you're a true men of the Lord, you should be what anti against what uh, this wickedness, okay, against this whole uh, regime, okay. Joe, and that means that you will not you you will not be able to be part of the society, but the Lord is going to be able to guide you down that straight gate. Joel 15 and 21, a dreadful sound is in his ears, and prosperity destroyer shall come upon it. Okay, and that's Yahweh Shai. Through this word, um, we're bringing in the splendor of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, you know, rolling out that carpet for our Lord. Okay, uh, blowing the trumpet, telling you that a, a king is coming to town, the king of kings, the Lord of hosts. Okay, which is our Lord and Savior, our big brother, our, our, our lawyer, our advocate, okay, our destroyer, our um, our door, you know, many different titles, but he has one name, which is Yahweh Shai, okay, which is able to what save, let's get that, there's only one name, Acts 4 and 12, it says, neither is there salvation in any other name, for there is none other name under the heaven given among men, whereby you must be saved, okay, it's only through Yahweh Shai. When you go into the word Yahweh Shai, he is what the savior, okay, he or the deliverer, deliverer, which goes into the, um, you know, a name uh, uh, in the English, Hosea, okay, which means uh, savior. And you put Yah, Yah in the beginning, he is the savior, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, and there's no other name. And that name was given to us by our elders through the what the Holy Spirit, okay, that we would believe in that name in the, in the end times. There's a, um, 
this is John 17, like 10, I think. John 17. Saki, um, let me see. Yep. Yep. It says John 17 and 14. I have given them the word, okay, the decree, and the word and the world, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Okay, I pray not that shall take them out of the world, but thou shalt keep them from evil. They are not of the world, even I am the world. Sanctify them through the truth. The the, the word is the truth. Okay. Saki, let me um, skip down. And that's a prayer that Yahweh Shai sent forth. And we are hated for this truth. And we do have enemies. Yeah, right here. This is what I want. Uh, John 16. This whole uh, chapter is fire, but I want to get this point. It says, John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thy they, thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word, manifested thy name. Okay, that name is very important to the doctrine. That's how you're able to uh, see if brothers are like-minded. Okay, and it's not just that. It's many different things, but the the name is very important. And if someone's calling on JC, Most High Christ, bless, okay, they're, they're not, they're not, um, they're not at all even close. Okay, they're at a low level. So I want to get uh, one more scripture before I go back to the uh, the article, okay? And this is going to lead to, um, because Esau Edom is hurt and he's being found liars, it's going to lead to what? The famine of the word. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said Yahabah Shemar Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but the hearing the words of Yahabah Shemar Shai. So the, um, the prophets are not going to be easily uh, accessible far as, you're able to get videos, you know, it's very easy to just go on and you're able to have access to that. You're able to get the water, the living waters, okay? But the Lord is going to want to close up the wells, okay? And when the, when they're speaking these certain things, these different groups, okay, that, that's going into Esau, Edom coming in like a flood. And we already see that they're doing these different psyops in different parts of the world, okay, which is going to lead to a blackout because they already said there's going to be an EMP hit which goes into a blackout, which goes into the internet being shut down and goes into, a, a, you know, the famine of the word, okay? Nor thirst for water, but the hearing the words of Yahweh Shemar Shai. And also another thing was Pedo Joe uh, signed over, um, you know, all, I believe it's all um, all the rights, I would say, to the the to the Beetlejuice far as the next, the next thing that's going to be coming, far as... Uh, to, I believe it's to Bill Gates to be able to run it. And what was Bill Gates talking about? Censorship. Okay. And he's also talking about the implants inside of your head. Okay. Which is all prophecy. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh Shemar Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but the hearing the words of Yahweh Shemar Shai. It says, they shall wander from sea to sea. So again, person to person, from north even to the east. And they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and they shall not find it. So they're going to be going on the internet, um, you know, looking for brothers, you know, uh, pages, you know, looking for this word, and they're not going to be able to find it. Okay, that's why the Lord said, you know, make no tarrying to me. I'm seeking, seek me while I may be found. Let me get that scripture. This is Sirach 5 and 7. Sirach 5 and 7, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off day to day for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in the security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So you thought that your job was going to save you, your woman was going to save you, you know, you have, you know, you have a little bit of knowledge was going to save you. No, you see, how about Shema Shai? That's why it says in the security. So you, you, and this goes into the ones that are not turning to the Lord. Okay. They're not taking it seriously. I'll do it another day. Okay. They're, they're tearing, they're delaying because they think they got time when the Lord is what, um, you know, shortening the days for the elect's sake, okay? It says, set not thy heart 
Okay, so the, the word heart goes into the Hebrew word lahab, which goes into your mind. So set not thy mind upon goods unjustly gotten. So the things that are in this world, okay, it says unjustly gotten, for they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity, going into a time of Jacob's trouble that we're headed into. And if you don't have this word, okay, you're going to be uh, caught up in the traps and the snares. You're not going to have that hedge of protection, right? So it's important to what come back to the Lord and repent, be transformed. Okay, it says 13 in that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Okay, going into the ones that, that weren't able to get this, um, the, the rivers of living water, because this word is known as uh, the as water, because right now the, fa the fountains are open where you can be able to drink of this uh, spiritual water. Zechariah 13 and 1, it says. Yep, it says in that day, in that day there shall be. It says in that day there shall be a fountain open to the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem for sin and for uncleanness. Okay, going into um, you know, uh, you repenting for your sins. Okay, that fountain goes into what the living waters. Okay, and what's happening is um, more and more as we get to the end, people are not uh, they're not enduring what sound doctrine. Okay, they're starting to come with their own lust of their belly. Um, there's a lot of uh, false prophets. It speaks about that. It says, let me actually, I want to get, um, I had another one. This is uh, Second Ezra's. <clears throat> this is Second Ezra's 5 and 9. Second Ezra 5 and, 5 and 9, it says, The salt water shall be found in sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself, and understanding withdraw itself into the secret chamber. Okay? And what's the, what the secret chamber going into, um, you know, going into the bosom, going into the chariot of the Lord. Okay? The salt waters goes into um, where the people are trying to distort the truth. Okay? It says, and friends shall destroy one another. Going into a man's foe shall be of his own household. Okay, let me get that. Because you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be turning on, uh, you know, your own family members are going to be turning on you. Because the Lord has sent forth what a division. This is Matthews 10 and 34. Matthews 10 and 34. Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Okay, going into division ultimately will be... Um, you know, World War Three, and, and the chariot on the top, our Lord Yahweh Shai. Okay, he's not coming to, everybody's going to be saved. No, there's going to be a, a great extinction of, of people. Only the um, the elect are going to be able to be saved. And what the, the great multitude, okay, the believers, Matthews 10 and 35, for I come to set a man at variance. Variance goes into a, um, a difference against his father and daughter, against his mother and daughter-in-law, against her mother-in-law. And we saw that with the Beetlejuice, okay? You had division. You know, you can't come over to my uh, my Thanksgiving. You know, you can't come over to, to my house unless you have that, that little green card, okay? That was a division. And that was Esau, Edom, doing a diligent search, okay? 36, a man's foe shall be of his own household. Going into Esau, Edom, the white man is going to offer what incentives, Okay, for and, and put your, um, you know, I just had a video uh, in China that if you, you know, have a low social credit score, okay, they have billboards that has your ID on it and it's showing you what you did as far as your crime. Okay, and what did what did Bill Gates and what did Carl Schwab say? They like what China's doing as far as their totalitarian society, their, 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 their communism, the Marx, Marxism, okay. Um, you know, putting people, if they say anything, you know, taking them out of the, um, you know, they're not able to do certain things. Okay. It says 36, a man's foe shall be of their, uh, so like it, a man's foe shall be they of his own household. He that loveth the father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth the son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Okay. So if, if, if those people that are in your life are, are stopping you from doing the truth. Okay. Um, the Lord's telling you, you know, you got to let them go if if they're they're blocking you from the truth. Now, if you're able to, um, you know, cope with these different situations, OK, these different relationships, then you stay with them. 
Okay, you don't just leave because, oh, you know, they don't agree. You respect your mother and your father. Okay, but you just say that you, you, you know, you respectfully disagree. Okay, but the thing is, is that there's going to be a time when the Lord's going to uh, separate you to, to test you to see what it is. Now, he might keep you with some of those people. Okay, some of those family members. Okay, but you have to uh, spiritually discern. The Lord's going to give you the wisdom, right? 38, and he that taketh not his cross, follow after me, is not worthy of me. So that cross is going into you, uh, Micah 7 and 9, bearing that righteous anger from, from Yahweh Hashem and Okay, because we went off in our past life, as far as we sin in our past life and even in this life. So we need um, Yahweh Hashem and Rashai to be able to forgive our sins, forgive our iniquity. Okay, we ha so in that we have to bear our cross, which goes into, you know, this flesh. Okay, it goes into the flesh. It goes into the, um, you know, through much wisdom, as much sorrow. It goes into being persecuted. It goes into being slandered. Okay. And if you're not, it says, and he that taketh not his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. He that find his life shall lose it. And he that loses his life for my sake shall find it. So in this truth, you have to, the Lord is going to test you and you might have to lose everything, but that's to gain everything. Just like Job, um, I believe he got um, a double fold. Okay. And what, um, you know, Peter, um, Matthews 19, you know, you know, what shall we receive if we forsake all? Roughly paraphrasing, and, and, and um, he got, uh, the Lord said, what, a hundredfold did, that he got, or that they got, okay? And that's 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 our belief, okay? Because the Lord is not a man that will lie, right? And his word doesn't what go out void, okay? But we have to endure the persecution. We have to endure, um, you know, being blamed, and, and blessed is he that is persecuted for thy namesake. I think that's in this same... Matthews 5 and 14. Matthews 5 and 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Bless ye when men shall re revile you, persecute you, and shall all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted thy prophets which were before you. Okay, so uh, the, the men of um, the prophets before, they were persecuted, put in prison, stoned, okay, you know, uh, um, beheaded, you know, hanged upside down, okay, but there was a reward after that, okay, because the wisdom of Psalm 3 and 1 speaks about you shall fear no torment, okay, and some of us are going to be mortars, some of us are going to be able to escape to the woods, okay, we all have to, what, bear that cross, okay, it says, 13, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherewith shall it be salted? It thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. So the true salt of the earth is the Israelites, okay? But in this time, it's the, actually the elect, okay? Because the elect is the one that actually has that savior, has that salt, has that nourishment, okay? Has that 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 seasoning, okay? And we're supposed to what season our, our, our um, you know, give love to our brothers, Okay, through this word. Okay, it says 14. Yeah, the light of the world, a city that's set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do, yeah, so you can't be hiding it in a napkin. Oh, I know the truth, but I'm just going to keep it for myself. No, you have freely as you give, freely as you receive. Okay, uh, John 21 and 17, where, where the Lord was speaking to Peter, which is the head of the church. And he said, if you love me, feed my sheep. And he said it three times going into understanding. Okay, and through these epistles, we're able to feed the sheep. Lord willing, it reaches the elect. Lord willing, we're of the elect. 15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but under a candlestick, and give it light unto unto all. It's like him. Give light unto all that are in the house. Okay. Going into the tabernacle of David, which is that house, that temple. Okay. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. So glorify, um, you know, see your good works. Okay. Let your light shine before men, not holding in a napkin. You know, you're not on the, the highways and hedges. You know, you did a video last year. Okay, you have to be consistent in this thing. You know, consistency brings greatness. Okay, and if you're not consistent, the Lord, you know, speaks about that in Revelation 3. I'd rather be you hot or cold, not, uh, uh, you know, lukewarm. Okay, roughly paraphrasing that. 
And the Lord will spew you out if you're not consistent, if you don't have a contrite heart. Okay, and that's where we're at is the uh, when the Passover is coming, coming out, you see a lot of people that start to fall out. They start to follow after these, um, you know, these false doctrines. Okay, they start to follow after the lust of their own belly. Okay, there was another one in Sirach before I go back to the uh, the article. This is Sirach. No. Yeah, that's what it is. Second Ezra 6 and 24. Because again, this word is not always going to be accessible. Okay, Second Ezra 6 and 24. At that time, friends shall fight one against another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear. But those that dwell therein, the springs of the fountain shall stand still. In three hours they shall not run. Okay, and that's going into this truth. Okay, the springs of fountains goes into what the living waters. Let me just get that scripture because I'm kind of referencing it. This is John 7 and 38. John 7 and 38. He that believeth in me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay, going into flooding. Okay, the, the Lord should be, um, you know, if you're in this truth, flooding you with information far as everything that you see is basically a lesson, you know, um, you know, when you when you actually look at it from a spiritual sense. OK, it says again, let me read this again. He that believeth in me. So believe in who? Yahweh Shai. This is in red letter. As the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. OK, and that's what you want is to have, uh, uh, you know, that that those the truth what flowing through your body. Okay, flowing through your spirit and, and freely as you give, again, freely as you receive. Okay. This is Proverbs. Let me get one more. This is Proverbs 13 and 14. It says, Proverbs 13 and 14, the law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Okay, and who is death? Esau, Edom. Okay, the law of the wise is a fountain of life. Okay, and Harashai is that life. There's also another scripture. This is Proverbs 14 and 27. It says, the fear of Yahweh is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Okay, you know, basically the same same thing. Okay, but this, this and the, the waters, the fountain is what, uh, this word, this truth. Okay, that's able to what wound thy adversaries is to be able to give you protection and be able to give you what comfort. Okay, and on the left hand side, Esau Edom is trying to combat that. Okay, let's play a little bit more of this video. Calls it our information ecosystem. We need to treat it very much like our environment. We are alarmed when our environment is polluted. We cannot live a healthy human existence. The same goes for information ecosystems. If we don't focus on this, you know, we're never going to be able to make this world a better place. In that information ecosystem, the role of the media has to start also being recognized more. Promote um, independent media. I know that's very much in UNESCO's mandate as well. We are uh, really, really seized and I'm working um, on leading the process for a code of conduct on information and inte integrity on digital channels, which will also, you know, pull the pull the UN um, together. We will be very much informed by the outcome of this, and you know, come together in standing up to the platforms, the factories, and you know, at least advocating for fundamental change. Yeah, and that's all lies and deception. Okay. All lies and deception, because what do they do? They want to have control. They want to take away your privacy and give you security, which is that CHIP, watching every movement. And they're saying that these things that are going out are lies when they're actually the truth. Okay. And this is going to lead to what the famine of the word. This is um, a couple of different scriptures, because going back to what she was saying earlier, she was speaking about, we have the science, we know the science, right? And this is what their science is. First Timothy 6 and 20. Oh, Timothy, keep that which committed to thy trust, avoiding profane. What does profane mean? Outside the temple. And these devils are outside the temple. Okay. They are the wicked. Okay. And they're pushing uh, an agenda to, to lock people down, to be able to put a device inside of them and watch their every movement, whether how many times you go to the bathroom, how many times you're with your wife. Okay. 
um, you know, uh, being able to come after your children, okay? Profane, again, outside the temple, and vain babblings, oppositions of science falsely so-called. So, so-called, okay? Because science goes into the word, I believe, konos, which means to know. And all they know is that it brings forth a condition of hell, which is played out on earth, okay? Because when you have a device inside of you, what, is it, what does it do? Your body starts to grow over it, and it creates an ulcer or a cancer. Okay, you're not supposed to have <laughs> devices in your body. Right? Strong's G, 1108. Gnosis. 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 In the Greek, 1108. It says, to knowledge signifies general intelligence, understanding. Okay? And what's the understanding is them... Um, bringing in their new world order because they want they believe that they are a god okay that they have that they are the most high they believe that they are the most high that they're above the most high okay and they're going to be found out that they don't know the lord is the one that gives them the knowledge and understanding the lord is the one that um you know raises up the lord is the one that gives you prosperity okay so let me read this in the nlt it says timothy guard what the most high has entrusted to you Avoid godless, foolish discussions, okay? And also, these same groups are pushing, um, you know, their savior as their science, okay? Avoid godless, foolish discussions, which those oppose you with their so-called knowledge, okay? Avoid them. Be not unequally yoked with them, okay? And that goes into those unity camps. If they're teaching false doctrine, how are you going to be unified with, with people that are going off? Okay, because ultimately they are godless too. Okay, they are deceit. Okay, foolishness discussions with those who oppose with you so called knowledge. Yeah, their so called knowledge because the knowledge of this world is not, not is foolishness unto Yahabah Shemashat, first, first Corinthians. Okay, let me get that actually. First Corinthians uh, 1 and about 15. I'm gonna skip around. Yep. I want to read this in the NLT. It says the message 18, the message of the cross. Yeah, the wisdom of Yahweh Shema Shai. Let me read King James Version. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of Yahweh Shema Shai. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and I'll bring to nothing the understanding of the prudent. So in the world, these um, you know, elites, okay, these, you know, um Carl Schwabs and Yuval Noah Rare, they're seen as they they are the smartest of the you know, Jeff Bezos, you know, Bill Gates, they're so smart, but they don't have the wisdom of Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay? Read this in the NLT twenty. So when it says, So where does that leave the philosophers and the scholars and the world's brilliant debaters? Yahweh Shem Shai has made the wisdom of this world look foolish. Yeah, the, the Lord is what's stunning on them, okay? through these words that are coming out, because Esau Edom is trying to figure out how did we get this knowledge, wisdom, understanding, okay? And that's through the Lord, John 6 and 63, uh, quickening our spirit, bringing us back into remembrance, you know, not to fear what man can do to you, but to fear what Yahweh Shemashai can do to you, okay? Because that's important, because that goes into you being whole and being sound, coming back to your true power. I want to skip around. It says 25 in the NLT. This foolish plan of of the most high is wiser than the wisest of human plants it says that the most high's weakness is to stronger the greatest of the human strength okay and let me read this in the king james version it says because the foolishness of yahweh shaman shai is wiser than men and the weakness of yahweh shaman shai is stronger than men okay going into yahweh shaman shai's control of the whole movie good and evil in the nlt it says Remember, dear brothers and sisters, that few of you were wise in the world's eyes or powerful or wealthy when Yahweh Shema Shai called you. Yeah, so we're seen as weak, you know, seen as feeble. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 10 speaks about that. But in the Lord's eyes, um, he knows that we are strong through him. We are strong through Yahweh Shema Shai. It says 27, instead, Yahweh Shema Shai chose the thing of the world. This is the point. Instead, Yahweh Shem Shai chose the things of the world considers foolishness in order to shame those who think they are wise and chose the things that are powerless to shame those who are powerful. Woo! Yep, and chose the things that are powerless. Yeah, because we're just, we're in the flesh. But the Lord has make, made us uh, uh, stand in that exceedingly great army, that spiritual army. Let me read this in the NLT, or the King James Version. But Yahweh Shem Shai had chosen the foolish things of the world 
to confound the wise. Yeah, the wise of this world that, that are so-called wise, right? It says, and Yahweh Shai had chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. Okay, confound, putting them down, judging them. Okay. And they cut, you know, they're cut to the heart. And this is going to lead to, again, what they're doing right now. Them slandering thy brother. This is Psalms 50 and 19. Psalms 50 and 19. Thou givest thy mouth to evil and tongue frameth the seat. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, the full of lies. Okay. Thou sittest and speakest against thy own brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. Okay. And Esau Edom is our brother, but he is the wicked son. And Jacob is what the righteous. Okay. And he's what slandering thy son by pushing forth these, uh, these, uh, devices out there. Okay. So I just want to show this real quick article because this is what, um, brought this about, you know, of course, through the Yahweh Hashem HaShah, the Holy Spirit, but it was this right here, and then I went into um, the different videos. So it says, at UNESCO, a call to regulate digital platforms in the face of online disinformation and hate, okay? So UNESCO, and I just want to put out what this actually, what, what UNESCO is. UNESCO, the United Nations Educational Scientific Cultural Organization, Okay, is a specialized agency of the United Nations, the UN, okay, aimed at promoting world peace and security through international cooperation in the education, arts, sciences, and culture. It has 193 member states and 12 associate members, as well as the partners in the non-government, intergovernmental, and private sector, okay? Private sector, which goes into these elites, um, these stakeholders. The private sector is part of the economy, sometimes referred to as the citizen sector, which is owned by private groups, usually as means of establishment for profit or nonprofit, rather than being owned by the government. So the government is um, infiltrated, going into the, you're able to invest money, okay, into a certain person that you want in there, going into these Democrats and these Republicans being uh, cult of personalities, being uh, puppets for what these, these private sectors, okay, which is starting with Esau Edom starting with um, the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, the Oppenheimers, Psalms 83. It says, headquartered of the World Heritage in Paris, France, UNESCO has 53 regional field offices and 193 national commissions that facilitate. UNESCO was founded in 1945 as successor of the League of Nations International Community Intellectual Cooperation. Okay, UNESCO's, let me just skip around. Yeah, is to advance peace, sustainable development. Okay, sustainable development is organizing principle that aims to meet human development goals. And what is that? The goal is to have everyone see hip. Okay, which is all going to go to not. They're not going to be able to touch the elect. Their sustainable development is to have smart cities. Okay, their sustainable development is to have you, um, you know, cutting off the resources, cutting off the food, cutting off the water. Okay, because they own everything. The hands is given to um, when the wicked bear a rule. So when the righteous, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear a rule, the people mourn, and people are mourning right now. Okay, Proverbs twenty uh, twenty nine and two. And the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, which is Malachi one and four. Esau Edom. So these are these nations consulting together. This is. Um, Habakkuk all around the world, okay? Habakkuk 2 and 5, start from 4. Habakkuk 2 and 4, behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. That's speaking about Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. But the just shall live by his faith, and who are the just, the hopeful elect, okay? Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, his philosophies, you know, uh, trying to combat, you know, misinformation and disinformation, pushing forth uh, pedestry, pushing forth uh, man on man, woman on woman, transformer, pushing forth the sea hip. He is a proud man, neither keep it at home. Yeah, so he's in 193 uh, uh, different countries pushing forth his agenda, okay? His sustainable development. Neither keep it at home. He enlarged his desire as hell. A hell is condition played out on earth. And as death, that's Esau Edom. He's known as death, okay? And Yahweh Shai has victory over death. And he cannot be satisfied, but gather unto him all nations, heap unto him all people, okay? So he has all these different people that are that are in the same vote far as um, let's get the technology, 
the, the lithium, let's get the semiconductors and let's put these C-hips inside of people so we can have slaves. Micah 2 and 1, woe unto them that divides iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light. They practice it because it's the power of their hand. Okay, because Yahweh Shemashah has given power on the left hand side. Okay, but their wickedness um, is, is um, almost fulfilled. Okay, and once their wickedness is fulfilled, that's when they're going to be, um, you know, put out of existence. You know, their light's put out. Okay, so that's why they're coming out with these, these lies and this deception. Job 13 and 4, because they are what the forgers of lies. They prescribe these lies, these unrighteous decrees. Job 13 and 4, but you are forgers of lies. You are physicians of no value. Okay, their only value is to be wicked. Okay, UNESCO. So I'll leave this link in the description. It has, you know, some, some different things, but basically the lady just said it, you know, uh, Melissa Fleming. Yeah, without facts, you can't have truth, okay? And the facts are that um, these devils are conspiring together uh, to do wickedness, okay? It says, real quick, I'll read this. Lies spread faster than facts. For some reason, facts are really boring. Lies, yeah, yeah, facts are really boring. That's right. You have camps out there that are saying that, you know, this, this is too boring, you know. Uh, you know, this should be... <laughs> The time of your life. Um, this should be a, a um, you know, a great time. Far as, um, you're doing the work of Yahab Hashem Shai, okay. And and sometimes you have to go over the same thing repetitively, and the Lord is gonna um, you know, give, um, you know, the servants the work to be able to do, and that's a blessing, okay. So we shouldn't be, you know, you know. Because you have, again, you have camps out there that are saying it's boring, you know, but to, to me or to, to, to men like me that are in this truth, we love doing this thing. We love doing the work of Yahweh Shema Shai because we fear the Heavenly Father, okay? And, and a lot of people, they don't fear the Lord and the Lord, they're going to know um, death by pain. For some reason, facts are really boring, lies, especially when they lace with fear, with anger, with hate, with tribalism. Yeah, so they're pun. this, this what's this tribalism? Yeah, so the state of fact of being organized in a tribe. So again, what are they? They're using these certain words, tribalism, which would be what these camps, okay? The camps that are out there, the churches, okay? They're trying to what? Um, Revelation 12 and 10, accuser of thy brethren. When you go into the word accuser, it goes into uh, categorize. They're trying to put you, you know, with these, um, you know, you just had Hocab where he tried to say Peter Moses, you know, the guy that, that uh, shot up those people in Florida, is, is part of, you know, uh, um, Great Millstone. You have, you know, anytime something happens, all of a sudden it's 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 part of one of the camps or they're, they're a Hebrew Israelite, okay? But they're, but they're not a Hebrew Israelite. They're a black Hebrew Israelite going into them categorizing, okay? Fear, and yeah, and, and and the servants of Yahweh Shema Shai are pushing forth fear. Through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Anger, we, um, anger goes into, um, you know, we hate wickedness. Okay, and we want our Lord Yahweh Shai to be glorified. Okay, but it's righteous anger. Okay, it's not it's not cardinal anger because we know that the Lord is going to what send forth His judgment on this place. Okay, but again, these are using certain words to try to frame mischief by law. Let's get that. Let me see if I can get any more out of this. I'm just going to leave the link in the description. It says uh, regulation coordinated and anchored in human rights. Yeah, so they're coming in that, that peace and safety spirit, okay? This is Psalms 94 and 15. It says, Psalms 94 and 16, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay, those are the servants of Yahweh Shema Shai, okay, that are standing upon their feet in the exceedingly great army, that spiritual army that's able to wound thy adversaries, which is Esau, Edom. Unless the Lord Yahweh had been my help, my silence, it's like he helped my soul, I had almost dwelt in silence. When I said my foot slippeth, the mercy of Yahweh held me up, and the multitude of thy thoughts within thy comforts delight my soul, going into these words. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, that frame of mischief by law? So we should we be 
uh, hand in hand with Esau Edom? Should we be hand in hand with people that are coming with off doctrine? Hell no. Okay. 21, they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. Going into slander, going into persecuting, okay, going into, um, you know, trying everything they can to try to, um, you know, uh, to, to kill us, okay? But the, what the Lord's defense, right here, it says 22, but the Lord Yahweh is my defense and my power is the rock of refuge. He shall bring upon their iniquity and shall cut them off from their own wickedness. Yeah, Yahweh Shai will cut them off. Yeah, the Lord's going to. Cut them off from from any power, uh, you know. Cut them off from their 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 the enchantments. Cut them off, and he's doing that with uh, Yahweh Shemashah is doing that with this word, because with this truth, we're uh, John eight and thirty two. We're able to be free. Okay, we're able to um, you know be spiritually free. Okay, and this devil is hurt. Okay, this is Psalms. The apostle had brought this out in one of his lessons, and it's, it stuck with me for this lesson right here. This is 11. Psalms 31 and 11. It says, I was a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and the fear to my acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. Yeah, and that's what uh, our family's members start to do. They look at us as, um, you know, uh, uh, weak. They look at us as, um, why you got those garments on? Why are you out there in the highways and the byways? You know, why you always got that Bible? Okay, our friends are, and especially when when these incentives come, when the money comes, okay, they're gonna they're gonna oh okay yeah he's right over here. Let me read this in NLT. It says, "I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me." Yeah, and I had um you know a, a thing that a testimony that happened with me where, um, you know my demon she was like, you know, I think that someone's you know watching us or whatever far as you know and uh and i was like well that that's a blessing you know what i mean and and people are afraid to be around you in certain cases far as little things that they say because they know that you have the truth and, and it's adverse to what this world because this world is an abomination to the lord this 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 word this world is iniquity and this this word is what peer okay it's um this is uh, Job, no wait, Proverbs 30 and 5. Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of Yahweh Shemashah is pure. He is just, a, it says, he is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. So the Lord's going to give you that shield of protection when Esau Edom comes in like a flood. Okay. Because also, what did he do? He gave us the name. Okay. Which is a blessing in itself. This is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. And what is a tower? It rises above the flood. Okay. The righteous run into it and is safe. Who are the righteous? The hopeful elect. Okay. While the rich man, yeah, he glories in um he glories in the in his carnality. While we're glorying in Yahweh Shemel Ashai. Okay, let's read this in NLT. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me. When they see me in the street, they run the other way. It says, and that's how it's going to be in that day. Okay. Um, you know, but then, but then the Lord's going to also draw those people back in because they shall be what willing in that day. Okay. Because the, the Lord is going to give some men spiritual power. Okay. It says Psalms 31 and 12. I, it says, I am forgotten as a dead man out of my mind. I am like a broken vessel. Okay. For I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side. While they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. But I trusted in the Lord, Yahweh Shemashai, and I said, Are thou are says, Thou art my power, Yahweh Shemashai. My times are in the hand. It says, My times are in the hand, Yahweh Shai, which is the hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Okay, make thy face to shine upon the servant. Save me from the mercy. Save me, suck it. Save me for thy mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Yahweh Shemashai, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed and let them be silent in the grave. Let their lying lips be put to silence and when speaking grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. And that's what we're praying that Yahweh Shemashai is able to what, um, you know, silence these devils. OK, which he's going to. But we're praying that he's able to give us the mercy in that time of judgment. 
Psalms 31 and 18, read it again. Let the lying lips be put to silence going into the slanderous ways. Okay. It says put to silence when speak grievous, yeah, arrogant, you know, lies, grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Let's get this word, a uh, couple words in here. Let's get this word grievous, grievous things, bold, arrogant. Yep. Strong's H, 6277. Athak. 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 The Hebrew 6277. Athak. Forward. Okay. Bold, arrogant. And that lady is Melissa Fleming. She's very uh, boldly speaking about, yeah, we. We stopped, you know, people from doing searches and, and we put in our own searches. They're telling you boldly, you know, how to hold, you know, um, you know, whole, uh, um, you know, uh, event over, over that grievous things, stiff. Okay. Let's go in the, um, the root word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. So the root word, right? Strong's H, 6275. Athak. Athak. Athak in the Hebrew, 6275, to move, to proceed. And what are they doing? They're moving forward. Okay, but they're going to be, what, carried headlong. They're going to be forwarded through. They're going to fall straight on their face. Advance, move on. Okay. It says, um, and I want to get this in here. It says, to what wax. Okay, wax goes into what waxing colder. Okay. And they're trying to what uh remove us out of what uh, out of um you know off the internet, okay, through what their legislation, through their unrighteous decrees. Let's get this word proudly. Strong's H thirteen forty six. Gava. Gava. Okay, that word proudly, pride, yeah, in Malachi one and four. Uh, Obadiah uh, one speaks about or Obadiah speaks about the pride of the heart has deceived thee. Okay. Pride, majesty, rising up, pride, haughtiness. Okay. Yep. And that's exactly who Esau Edom is. Pride, it says pride, proudly swelling, arrogancy. Yeah. Very arrogant coming against the Lord. I want to get this word contemptuously. Strong's H 937. Booze. 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 Yep. Making you drunk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Hebrews 937. Contempt. Okay. Springing from evil. Springing from prosperity. Springing from their judgment. Okay. Shame. Contempt. Disrespect. Yeah. Disrespect to the Lord. Okay. Uh, impious uh, um, spirit. Okay. Not reverencing Yahabah Shem Rashai. Okay. So you got that. And let's get the, let's get one scripture. This is Proverbs 18 and 11. Proverbs 18 and 11. It says 12. Before the destruction of a heart of the man is haughty and before honor is humility. Okay. And these are very uh, uh, proud men. And the Lord is what set a day where they're going to be put down. Okay. And then that day is uh, uh, approaching. Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride go before destruction and haughty spirit before a fall. Okay. And it's going to be a great fall. All I shall see. Okay, it says, for the Lord Yahweh have made all things for himself, yet even the wicked for the day of evil. So they will be put in their place. Okay, and before they, um, you know, right now they're being put in their place and that will lead to what a famine of the word. Okay, that's why it's important to what come back to the Lord before the Lord, what has the prophets, what, um, you know, the, the tongue, what cleave to the roof of their mouth, Ezekiel uh, 3 and 25. This is Psalms 38 and 11. Okay, and this is going into the time that we're in. This is Psalms 38 and 11. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from, from my sword and my kinsmen stand afar off. Going into your family is going to start to look at you sideways. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me and they seek my hurt and speak mischievous things and imagine the seats all day long. And that's what they're doing right now. Okay, as far as them, the, the think tanks, okay, these United Nations General Assembly meetings, what that girl Melissa Fleming was speaking about. It says, but as a deaf man heard not, I was dumb and man that opened not his mouth. Okay, thus I was a man that heareth not and whose mouth 
are no reproofs going into that's going to be that day when that famine of the word's going to come. You're not going to be reproving and rebuking uh, people anymore. Okay, because the time is up. That grace period is up. 15, for thee and O Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, do I hope thou will hear, O Yahweh Shema Shai, for I said, hear me, lest otherwise and should rejoice over me. When my foot slippeth, that magnify themselves against me. For I am ready to halt, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity. I will be sorrow, Saki, I will be sorry for my sin. It says, but my enemies are lively and they are strong and they hate me wrongfully are multiplied. Yep, because you have your family, you have Esau, Edom, you have this flesh. Okay, but Yahweh Shema Shai is guiding you down that straight path. But you have to believe and you have to have faith in this. That he is a rewarder that diligently seek him. Roughly paraphrasing Hebrews 11 and 6. 20. They also that render evil for good are my adversaries because I follow the thing that is that good is. Okay, follow Yahweh Shai. Okay. 21, forsake me not, O, o the Lord, Yahweh, O my power, be not far from me. Make haste to help me, O Lord, Yahweh, Shema Shai, my salvation. Okay, and he's going to do that, but we have to trust in him that he is that. Let me get that because I quoted it earlier and I'll end it right there. Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith is it impossible to please him. Okay, so you have to have faith. Okay, what does it say in the scripture? It says, one, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of the things not seen. So we don't see our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but we see him through the men of the Lord, through the works that they're doing. Okay, through the things that he's doing in our lives, through through that old man, uh, the old nigga being put off and that new man being renewed through our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, through the Holy Spirit. Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. Okay, and that word, those words, he is, and in the Hebrew means uh, he is or he exists. Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's name. He is or he exists. Okay, and that he is a rewarder. Okay, who's the rewarder? Yahweh Shai. That he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, they sincerely seek at Yahweh Shema Shai, and he's going to be with them um, in the time of trouble. So with that... Kohola Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash Shalom to Alek Kwame Shalom.